everyone, it's Beth with Thimble Hooks, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite stitches. This is very versatile. Everybody should have this one in their in their back pocket. It is the moss stitch right here. This is the moss stitch, also called the linen stitch, the granite stitch, and I've always known this one as the mesh stitch. So it has at least four names. It's very very simple. It would be perfect for a beginner because all you need is a single crochets and chains. It's really easy but it's interesting. And it's also the uh, same one that is used for plain pooling. So you have a lot of ways to use this stitch. And I really like the way this this uh, yarn worked up. So I'm going to use it again to do my tutorial here. And this is of course I love my I love this yarn. Everybody knows I love I love this yarn. This one is called Instant Classic. So when you're going when you're just doing a moss stitch, you know, look at the label of whatever yarn you choose. Go with the recommended hook. It's a five and a half. I have a five and a half right here. Let's move this guy out of the way. And I gotta get my yarn. Move him off to the side a little bit. And let's get started. It's an amazingly simple stitch. Don't use much. We just need a slip knot. Put a slip knot on your hook and chain any multiple of two. So any even number. I'm going to go to 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, there we have our chain 20. Easy peasy, chain 20. Now in the second chain from the hook, which is really the first place that you can work, right here, we're just going to do a single crochet. One. And chain one. And then we're going to skip this next chain space because the chain that we just made is taking up its spot. So we'll go like this and we'll go single crochet, chain one, and skip. So skip this one, single crochet here, chain one, skip that guy, single crochet, chain one, skip, single crochet, chain one, do that all the way to the end, skip, single crochet, chain one, skip, single crochet, chain one, skip, Crochet chain one, skip, and single crochet chain one, skip, and then you have the last two stitches. You're going to skip this one, and in your very last stitch is just a single crochet. Boom. There is your very first row of moss, or linen, or granite, or mesh. There we go. So our, our second row is just as easy as the first one. We're just going to single crochet, chain one, I'm sorry, chain one, and turn. Right here in this very first spot, right here, we want to single crochet. One. Now in the next one, there's the chain space. We're not going to chain one or anything. We're just going to work right into that chain space with a single crochet because we're always working into chain spaces since we're at the very very beginning so I'll keep you going on that one chain jump over to the next chain space it's way bigger than a single crochet so it's easy to find single crochet chain single crochet chain one jump over to the next one single crochet chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, 
chain one, single crochet, chain one, and you have one last, one last chain space, single crochet into that one, and single crochet with no chain because it's right next door into the very last chain, or into the very last stitch we're going to single crochet. and 19. As you should have 19 stitches, because we started with 20. We worked in the second chain from the hook, so that lost us one chain, so we should always have 19 stitches when we're done. If we put them back on here, we're going to go on to row 3, which is just as simple as rows 1 and 2. Chain 1, turn, we're going to chain one in this very first, or I'm sorry, we're going to single crochet in this very first stitch. And since now the next thing that we see right here is, is a single crochet and the chain space is over here, we need to chain one so we can jump over to this. This chain space is where we need to be. So we're going to chain one. And now we can just continue on with our single crochet. Chain one. And jump over to the next chain space, chain one, jump to the next chain space, chain one, jump to the next chain space, chain one, 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 and the very last guy here on this row, because there's an odd number, is a chain space. Or you have to skip this one and go to this one. It's perfect. Lines up perfectly. We're going to count our stitches one more time. Count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 18 and 19. Yay! As long as you have 19, you must be on the right track. So after we've skipped, after we have done row 3, pretty much a repeat of 2 and 3 all the time. So we're just going to do a chain 1 and we're going to turn and we'll see which one it is. So we have to start with the single crochet here, as always. Single crochet. Now if you decide to decide if you have to chain one or not, you see if this is a single crochet or if it's a chain one space. It's a chain one space, so we don't have to chain because it's the next chain, it is the next space that we're supposed to be using. We don't have to work all the way over here. The next working spot is this chain space. So there's this single crochet and a chain. We have to skip over this and go to the chain space. Single and a Single crochet into chain one, skip the single crochet and go right to the chain space. Skip the single crochet and go into the chain space. Skip the single crochet, chain space, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and single crochet in the last and since the very last stitch is right next door, no chaining, we just go in with a single crochet. All right, let's count our stitches again. One, two, three, four, five, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. We're right on track. 19 stitches. So as you can see, at the beginning and end of each one of these, well, we always have to chain one and turn, but at the beginning there's always going to be a single crochet, no matter what. Then we just decide if we have to work into this next stitch or if we're going to chain. Since there's a single crochet here, we have to chain in order to get over here because we need to make up that space. So there's a single crochet and a chain. Single crochet and a chain. Skip the single crochet here, go into the chain space, single crochet and chain. Single crochet and chain. 
single crochet and chain, single crochet and chain, single crochet and chain, single crochet and now we're at the very end. Do we need to chain or not? Yes, we do. We need to chain to jump over the single crochet and get into the very last one and make a single crochet. So let's count our stitches one more time. Eighteen and nineteen. So we have our nineteen stitches. We'll do one more row. So we're going to chain always chain one and turn. And always the always a single crochet into the very first stitch. Now we decide, hmm, do I need to chain or do I need to single crochet? We are going to single crochet right into this chain space because it's the next working area. So we're going to single crochet and chain so that we can jump over the single crochet that's over here from the previous row. Work into there. Single crochet and chain. Work into. Alright, and then we have a chain one into the chain space, single crochet and a chain one. Skip over the single crochet. Go into the chain space with your single crochet and a chain one. Jump over here, single crochet and a chain one. Single crochet and a chain one. Single crochet and chain one. Single crochet and chain one. And we're going to do this single crochet. Now what? Well, the next stitch is the one that we need, so that means no chaining. So we just work right in here again. Let's counter stitches one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Yay! That's perfect. We can do one more. I'll try to explain that one more time so it makes sense. Chain one, turn. We always work into the very first one. So there's a single crochet. <clears throat> now you look at this very next stitch. That is a single crochet, but we need a chain space. So we have to chain to jump over that stitch and get right in here with our single crochet and chain one. Single crochet and chain one. Single crochet, chain one. Going into that chain space, single crochet, chain one. Every one of those chain ones jumps over a single crochet from the previous row. So it's really, really easy. This is so easy peasy. You could sit and watch a movie, go and binge something, and really work up a lot of this because it's such an easy, easy repeat. All right, so here we are. There was our last chain space. Now we have two stitches left. This one is a single crochet. This is the one we need, so that means we have to chain, which, oopsie, I already did. I was getting too ahead of the game. But we have to jump over this one because we need to get a stitch into this last stitch no matter what. So we have to chain one to jump over this second to last guy and boom, counter stitches. I don't do this every time. I'm just doing this so that everybody can try to follow along with not losing or not dropping or gaining any stitches along the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 chain one. Again, always into the first stitch right here is a chain one, or is a single crochet. Then you decide what's supposed to happen based on what this next stitch is. It's a chain, it's a chain space, so that means we do not chain anything. We go right into that chain space with our single crochet and we chain to jump over this from the previous row so we can get back in to here. Chain single crochet and chain one, single crochet and chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, 
single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. And we're down to these last few stitches. I have three stitches left, so I gotta go into the chain one space with a single crochet, but now there's only one space left and we have to use the stitch. So no chain, just single crochet right into it. So the first and the last stitch always have to be a single crochet. What you do in between depends on where your single crochets and chain spaces lie. If it's a, a repeat of row two or a repeat of row three. And that's really all there is. It's a two row repeat. Works up really fast. Looks cute. It's not a yarn hog. It's not a yarn eater. There's all these chain spaces in here. Um, sometimes you can have single crochet is surprisingly uses a lot of yarn because the stitches are so small but this one is not nearly as bad as just doing total single crochet you can see why I've known it called mesh, mesh stitch like this because it this has little holes in it it's very nice works up beautifully for a little throw blanket it's not too hot um, one of my favorite things to do with these because the edges work up so well you don't even have to put a border around this one makes a great scarf. You can have a scarf done in a few hours. See, you don't even have to put an edge on it. Don't have to put any kind of a border. Don't have to think about it. Just make it as long as you want. Finish it off. Just end your stitches. You can really use any yarn you want. Something that has stripes like this is certainly super fun. But I think that's about all I can tell you about the moss linen granite mesh stitch that's also used for plan pooling. Kind of a lot of information for one tiny little stitch, but it's very handy. You probably will end up finding it in a lot of patterns. So I hopefully you learned something new today. It's really easy. I hope great for beginners. And I appreciate you stopping by and supporting my channel. Please subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Bye! I love this stitch.